Hi everybody, let's spend a few minutes to learn how to use the uh, new Bounded Areas Transform. The Bounded Areas Transform template uh, takes a network of lines or a group of lines and it uh, automatically creates uh, areas that are bounded by intersections of lines. And to see how that works, we're, gonna, we're looking at Manifold System Release 9 and uh, this works in uh, the free viewer as well. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, create a line in this drawing called Miscellaneous Lines. And we're just going to create a pattern of lines. Here's one, and uh, here's another. Here's a third line. Let's put a few lines here, this way. Another line here. And uh, let's do a line which is uh, endpoint to endpoint. So I'm going to uh, turn snapping on. So I'm going to click from here to there. And uh, that will uh, save changes. Now what we've done here is we've created a, a system where, where the lines here intersect each other, but they're not, you know, endpoint to endpoint coincident. Here there is a line that's endpoint to endpoint coincident. And uh, let's see what the bounded area transform does with all this. I'm going to choose the transform plane, transform temp, uh, panel here, and in the bounded areas template, we can see what it does. It creates a bunch of lines like that. Uh, let's uh, let's do something more interesting here. I want to create one more line. There. Now let's go to the bounded areas and you can see what it's done when I click back and forth between no action and bounded areas. The bounded areas uh, template is giving me a uh, preview. So these regions right here, i to turn that cursor off back to default. These regions right here which are enclosed by lines, either by the intersection of lines which has happened to cross over each other or by lines that close a region by being endpoint to endpoint. Uh, are picked out as bounded areas. Uh, in terms of options, I can change the name of this. For example, I can call this uh, mm, line bounds table, and we'll just call this a line bounds drawing. And uh, I'm going to add a component. I'm going to take these areas and create a new component with it. And now, if I like, I can take these uh, this drawing here that we just created and drag it and drop it into the map, and you can see what it's done, it's created areas where these lines intersected. Okay, that's all cool. Now let's do a uh, real life example of this, how we might use this in real life. I'm going to double click open the map and here we're looking at our Roman roads in France. These are actual uh, Roman roads that are in France. And what I want to do is I want to fill in the regions in between the Roman roads with uh, area, area objects. So I'm going to uh, click on the uh, roads template to make it the uh, roads tab, tab to make it that, that the active layer. Here we're going to go back in the transform. I'm going to click on bounded areas. It's going to give us a partial preview because uh, uh, previews are uh, imperfect. It, it just shows us, it gives us a reckoning of it to show us approximately what it's going to do. To actually see what the thing does, we're going to have to uh, create it. And let's see what the table is going to be called. Uh, roads, tables, bounded areas, drawing. Well, okay, that's uh, kind of clumsy, but why not? Let's use that. So we'll click add component. And uh, let's see what it has created for us by dragging and dropping that into the map. And we can see there it has indeed created all those uh, different uh, roads. Uh, in order to uh, differentiate between the uh, roads lines and the uh, black borders for the areas, I've created uh, another copy of the roads layers here, which is uh, the same uh, roads lines, but they're just fatter and they're partially transparent. So that way we can see how they've overlaid and how we've filled in the roads areas that are uh, part of the, uh, the map. Uh, if we want to uh, make these areas prettier here so we can uh, you know, see what's produced, let's just style them. And uh, we'll style them, oh, I don't know, in a kind of a gimmicky way. Uh, the area fill, we want to choose uh, MFD. And uh, we use equal intervals. And uh, why not apply to a color bluer, brewer spectral palette. Let's see what that does. Well, that's close enough. That's good enough. So that shows us the different areas that we've created here for the, the various roads. We can also do an experiment if we like and see what happens if we uh, break one of these roads lines. So I'm going to uh, delete this from the map. And these roads lines here, I'm going to double click. Now let's go back to these roads here. And, and I'm going to zoom in to uh, one of the regions where I know I can break a line. Like right here. I know, for example, that this line right here, which we can control click is a line segment that we can delete. 
So now what used to be a closed segment here has been uh, chopped, so it's no longer closed. This is actually a fairly typical situation uh, in uh, GIS work where something which might appear to be closed at a, at a big zoom level, even if it's only like a few meters apart and our tolerance is such that that, that, is, not re that, is, that is reckoned to be a break, it'll be considered a break. So this area here now should not be filled in. And I'm going to add component. Go here to the project, and uh, let's see what the uh, what this drawing has done. And as you can see, here's the rose lines, and you can see this area has no longer been filled in. Why? Because there's a break. So this region is no longer enclosed, so that's no longer filled in as a bounded area. Anyway, that's the bounded areas transform. It's extremely easy to use. Uh, it's a very, very handy thing uh, because not only does it uh, work when lines are coincident, endpoint to endpoint to close a, to close a region, but it also works when uh, lines are just simply crossing over each other, so they're intersecting and close a region. I hope you've liked it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I remind everybody this works in Manifold Release 9, and it also works in the free viewer, which you can download and use absolutely for free, no strings attached. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. As always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.